Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. A while ago I made a tutorial allowing you to set up any third person character on Unity with a movement system, a camera and everything that comes with it. In this tutorial I mentioned Mixemo, a website belonging to Adobe which is well known for its many softwares such as Photoshop or Premiere. Mixamo has an impressive bank of 3D characters and animations. All those resources are completely free and royalty free and you can very easily use them in Unity, Unreal Engine and other softwares. The purpose of today's video is to quickly present Mixamo, its interface and how to import and use all of those resources with Unity. So let's see how to download hundreds of Unity characters and animations for free. First, head to Mixamo.com. The link is in the description. Also, all of Mixamo resources are free. You will need to create an account to use the website. It's quick and easy, no credit card or private information required, so I'll spare you this step. All you have to do is click sign up and follow the indications. Once your account is created, log in and you will be redirected to this interface. The way to go is rather simple. Select the characters tab and all of the characters available on Mixamo will appear on the left. By clicking on one of them, the preview window on the right is updated with that character. For this presentation, we will download our character separately from our animations. I recommend that you always do it this way because it will be easier to have a character without animations, to which we will add everything needed rather than having animations present natively. This allows a more flexible system and a better organization. Now that we have a character, let's download it. Just click on the download button and a window will appear. In the format, select FBX for Unity. This format contains the root motion data of the character, so it can be really useful in some cases. Let's keep T-Pose and we can click Download. Once the download is complete, head to Unity. I recommend that you create a new folder in the project window in which we will add all the resources related to our new character. You can then open this folder and drag and drop the FBX file that we just downloaded. We can directly add this element in our scene and as you can see, our character appears in the scene but it is textureless. The reason for this is that the textures were not extracted from the file we downloaded. And more generally, we did not configure our FBX file to work properly on Unity. Let's take care of that. Select the character in the project window and in the inspector we can change the animation type to humanoid. Don't forget to hit apply. This way our character will be able to use animations. Then in the materials sections click on extract textures. You will need to define where to extract those textures. I recommend that you create a new textures folder. Very often, when downloading characters from Mixamo, you'll get a warning like this one. You can just click Fix Now to fix the normal map. Nice, it's already better. As you can see, our character has regained colors and textures. But if you feel like something is wrong with your character, like transparent textures, eyes out of their sockets or something else, don't worry, we'll fix it in a second. In the inspector, we will now extract the materials. Again, you should create a dedicated folder for that. Then let's quickly check the configuration of the materials. Go to the material we just extracted and check that their rendering mode is in opaque. Some Mixamo characters have materials configured as transparent, which gives an absolutely frightening rendering. You can see an example on the screen. This character clearly doesn't look good, so make sure all of the materials are in opaque mode. Now you should have a character with a nice rendering, which means that the first part of this video is over. If you're interested in adding a movement system to this character, you will find the link on the screen and in the description. Now let's go a little further. With Mixamo, as I said in the introduction, we can also download hundreds of animations. Let me show you. 
head back to Mixamo, go to the Animations tab and select the one of your choice. For this example, I'll use this one, Capoeira. When you select an animation, the preview on the right will update with the character of your choice and the selected animations. It allows you to have an ID of the final result without having to download everything. For the majority of the animations, you have the possibility to customize it. There are some parameters like the length of the steps or the speed of the animation. Once you're happy with the result, click Download. In Format, again, we'll use FBX for Unity. In Skin, you can select Without Skin, which means that we'll download only the animation, without the character. In FPS, it's up to you, I leave 30 and the keyframe will stay on None. We can now download the file and once it's finished, you can go back into Unity. I'll make a new folder called Animations and I'll drag and drop the new file inside. We can select this file and in the inspector, you can now configure this animation the way you want it to behave. On my side, I'll enable loop time and in the rig tab, you can mark your animation as humanoid. This is very important. Otherwise, it will not work with our character. Now, if I want my character to play this animation, I'll need to create an animator controller. I can do it by right-clicking in the project, new animator controller. You can call it any way you want and you can then open it. All we have to do is to drag and drop our animation into the controller and then assign this controller to the character. So in the hierarchy, you can choose your character and drag and drop the controller into the animator component. And we should be settled. Press play and if you have everything correctly set up, you should see your character playing the animation. And that's pretty much all there is to know about Mixemo. The rest is up to Unity's animation system. So I remind you that if you simply want to add a third person movement system with a camera and everything already set up, I made a video on the subject a few months ago. You can follow this tutorial with any characters, including the one from Mixemo. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe if you appreciate my work. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.